Six weeks ago, we began a series on the self-confidence formula, which is a series of statements that I have memorized and that I repeat daily. Uh, it's an idea taught by Napoleon Hill who wrote Think and Grow Rich. In this book, he shares what he learned from Andrew Carnegie, at that time the richest man and the biggest philanthropist in America. And also, after Napoleon Hill has spent more than 20 years studying many individuals who had amassed personal fortunes. Napoleon Hill also wrote this book called The Law of Success in 16 Lessons. It's 1600 pages. And lesson three was on self-confidence where he proposed his five-step formula to develop self-confidence. What he, we know as the self-confidence formula. In the previous weeks, I discussed the first five steps. Today, let's look at the ending of the self-confidence formula. Okay. What you have to do for it to become true in your life. You go, here it is. I sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud twice a day, with full faith that it is continually influencing my thoughts and actions affirming that I'm a self-reliant and successful team elite leader. Thank you, God, for it is done. Okay, so it's that last bit has obviously been modified for the New Skin people. You know, um, I think New Skin wasn't around when Napoleon Hill was around. Uh, let me repeat it again. I sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud twice a day with full faith that, that it is continually influencing my thoughts and actions affirming that I am a self-reliant and successful team elite leader. Thank you, God, for it is done. Okay, let me go through each, uh, each phrase. Okay. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, morning, Josh. Morning, May. Morning, GP. Morning, Patrick. Good to see you here. Okay, so I sign my name to this formula. What is the significance of signing my name to this formula? This is simply ownership. We always talk about ownership. Okay, like I label my handphone. I have a label on my laptop. My wallet has got my name, contact number. You know, I sign the back of my credit card. My share certificates are in my name. My bank account is in my name. And I can withdraw only when I've signed my name. My will is signed and witnessed by two people. All things of value are named. So this is your self-confidence formula. It's not your uplines. It's not your parents. It's not your coaches, certainly, self-confidence. It's your self-confidence formula. Do you own it? That's the significance of signing your name. Just as an aside, you know, when I was doing financial planning, you know, I had some big clients uh, who would just sign a blind check. You know, these are, these are important people. They were quite well known. They just signed a blind check, leaving me to fill the pay. That means who is to be paid to and the amount. What is this? This is confidence in me. Okay. So when you have self-confidence, you are literally signing a blank check where anything is possible. Okay. Let me repeat that. When you have self-confidence, you are literally signing a blank check where anything is possible. Commit it to memory. Okay. Committed to memory. So why memorize? If this is why not just have a rough idea? Let me share with you at least three reasons why it's important to memorize. You want it word perfect for certainty, so that you know it's exactly this, not around there. Okay, you want it to be word perfect for confidence, so that you are confident to talk about it. You won't go uh uh uh. Okay, and you want it to be word perfect so that you can communicate it and it can be shared. Exactly the same thing will be shared. So, And you know, communication is the essence of leadership. It is communication that initiates and creates that ripple effect that we talk about. You know, when you see the, the circle, that's why we call a circle group, 5, 25, 1, 2, 5. It's communication that initiates it and continues that ripple effect. So you want to memorize it. Uh, when I was a young Christian in New Zealand, I actually began memorizing Bible verses. 
those of you who know the organization, the navigators, will have learned this habit too of scripture memory. And you know, wow, well, that's 1970, in the 1970s. Till today, many verses are still available to lead and guide my thoughts and actions. To memorize something requires you typically repeating it daily for about 60 days or six weeks okay and repeat it aloud because when you vocalize it you are listening to it so so when i vocalize it i'm listening to it and i'm the, the person that needs to listen to it many many times okay i'm it's about my self-confidence okay? so memorize it okay commit it to memory and repeat it aloud twice a day okay so this repetition is both a reminder and an opportunity to visualize the outcome. Okay. I need constant reminders because that dream is, that goal is not my reality. I need to rem remember this is what uh, the outcome will be like. And it's also an opportunity to visualize the outcome. Remember last week we talked about how visualizing the outcome uh, can heal. Okay. And this is actually working on the four crucial characteristics of a leader or what we some people call it the four crucial characteristics of success okay repeating it out twice a day is working on your compelling desire or your why okay repeating self-confidence formula it builds self solid belief believe in yourself believe in teamwork repeating it out aloud twice a day is effective action and repeating it repeatedly is about iron will okay the never give up spirit i i will repeat it i will repeat it until it becomes true in my life okay next the phrase with full faith that it is continually influencing my thoughts and actions with full faith that it is continually influencing my thoughts and actions and this is the daily practice of positive expectation I'm always expecting a positive outcome. It's applying the law of attraction. I'm attracting good things. I'm seeing it as done. Just like the durian farmer. You know, the durian farmer knows with a certainty that after four to eight years, depending on the species, okay, after four to eight years, the plant that he has taken care of daily will bear durians. Okay, absolute certainty. Okay. So let's look at the word faith. I, 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 there are some acronyms for the word faith. Okay, so faith is focus all in trusting Him. Okay. Another acronym, another ac the acronym for faith is fantastic adventures in trusting Him. Okay. Fo okay, then focus on the positive F. A. Affirm yourself. I. Imagine a good outcome. T. Trust the process. H hope for the best all these are visualizing you know the outcome okay. now how much how much do we want to influence our thoughts okay how much do we want to influence our thoughts just as H lock works why does H lock works because H lock works by targeting the source of aging our genes so the self-confidence formula works because it's targeting the source of success our thoughts now I mentioned Dr. Joe Dispenza, you know, who says that everything starts with thoughts. Okay, our thoughts will determine our choices. Our choices will determine our actions, and our actions will determine the experience we get. And the experience we will get will determine the emotions we have, and the emotions we have will affect our thoughts. Again, it's a cycle. Okay. Habit one. Habit one, remember, seven habits of effect, highly effective people. Habit one is be proactive. That habit says that you are the programmer. Okay. Habit two, begin with the end in mind, says you write the program. The program is your self-confidence formula and your definite purpose statement. That's the program you write. Who do you want to be? What do you want? Okay. okay the next phrase affirming that i'm a self-reliant and successful team elite leader always say to people you are with yourself 24 hours a day seven days a week you are with yourself 24 7 so you are the best person to give yourself positive 
information you control. Okay. What you hear. So give yourself positive affirmation. So affirming that I am a self-reliant and successful team elite leader. Now this word self-reliant, people have a problem with the word self-reliant. But let me share with you. In habit one, self-reliant, okay, it's in habit one, it's being proactive, it's basically saying I am responsible. I am responsible. The leadership distinction, okay, number two says if it's to be, it is up to me. If it is to be, it is up to me. The term self-reliant does not mean I do everything. It, it cannot do. We, we keep talking about leverage. We keep talking about teamwork. We keep talking about 1% from 100 people. How can it be just me? Okay, We're talking about relying on others with complementary strengths. We're talking about habit six, synergy. Okay, So self-reliant means that you are responsible. Okay, You are responsible for your relationship with people. You are responsible for your relationship with God, for listening to God. Okay or relying on Him to guide you. Because the last phrase is, Thank you God for it is done. And this is the success mantra. Results, success or results equals to intention plus action plus grace. Grace is God's work. It's the miracles, the attracting of the forces you wish to use and the cooperation of other people. This is what makes the business uh, incredible. In fact, it makes life incredible. So the self-confidence formula is for big goals, but it's also for daily matters. Let me share with you a happy result I experienced just this last weekend that actually illustrates today's lesson on a small matter. So the family had planned for a barbecue on Saturday. Okay, it was planned about maybe a week or two back. Um, Jackie is a much better planner than, than I am. Okay, so you know the steaks were bought. You know they were marinated ahead. Sausages, chickens, prawns, vegetables. All these you know people have to buy it. But there was a there are two problems. <laughs> one is the barbecue hadn't been used for two years. Okay, it was a gas one. Uh, you know not just charcoal. Charcoal you know will work. It's under the gas one. So I'm not sure it would work. Secondly, the weather forecast was for thunderstorms like we had yesterday. It was supposed to be throughout the day. Anyway, um, we I visualized a good outcome. So we cleaned up, we tested the equipment on Saturday morning. Uh, of course, it rained when we were doing that. We also, I also, we also cleaned up the backyard, and we meaning, you know, the boys, uh, and the backyard's really used for entertainment. So we had a good time cleaning it. And then throughout the barbecue, there were people happy to cook. Gail, Daniel, Chris. And invited Susan and she brought tons of bread that just absolutely tasted great when you grill the thing and you put butter, you know, there's nothing like a charcoal, like a proper grill. And the weather turned out perfect. No rain, no sun, cool, you know, and this was the result of visualization. This was the result of teamwork. This is absolutely the, <clears throat> the result of grace. I have so much experience of, you know, praying for the weather. Simple meal, but it actually tested <clears throat> my faith okay and faith in this case is fantastic adventures in trusting him so even a simple family barbecue you know was an adventure and we learned something from this okay so i hope that uh, you know the self confidence formula has been useful you're supposed to have memorized one verse uh, uh, one one step a week okay it's important to memorize that go ahead and do that if you haven't okay because uh, this ending part is the re secret for success, okay? That you repeat it twice a day, uh, memorizing it.